it's just... Sorry, it's just the way you're set up and the way you look like, you look like a YouTuber. A YouTuber? Like the YouTubers I was watching, um... Hmm. I mean, uh, do, like, a decent archery set. Um, hmm. Some person named Pink. Or not Pink, it was some... I think it was Miss, uh, Mr. Something, but I forgot the complete name. Hmm. And... I've been watching his uh, YouTube video. I need, I need a good archery setup, so what's you need to remember his name so I can go look him up. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Mr. Witty here, back on a township tale to discuss a couple of things and probably the top things that I get asked about continuously in a township tale. If you like the video, make sure you leave a comment down below as we discuss making some money and some housing along with a few other things along the way in a township tale. Let's dive in. Okay, so for quick starters, I definitely want to go ahead and touch on making some money in the game. Aside from just pressing coin, which is something you always need to be doing, I've covered this in videos before, but but every time you're down in the mines, don't just walk by gold. Keep like a spot open in your bag or whatever, dude. Pocket, I don't care. But keep a spot open for your gold, okay? Always do that. And then go ahead, take your gold, go smelt that down into a bar of gold, bring the bar of gold to the second floor of Town Hall, and then press it into coin. Now aside from that, the biggest thing is, and people don't take this seriously enough, at least I don't think they do. This is merchants, okay? Merchants are a big deal. And this is how I make a lot of my money in the game, or I have in the past. So you might ask, what the heck is a merchant? Like, yeah, you say the word merchant, but how does that even relate or translate into this game? Well, well once you're in an active server, it gets a lot more helpful because you're gonna keep your ear open and you're gonna listen for what people need around the world most often. Now, this could be a variety of things. My first experience in being a merchant, first thing I ever put on the stalls, was chicken. People freaking love not having to get food. It's kind of a big deal. So I think somebody was selling like chicken nuggets for like four or five bucks a piece. So what did I do? I took that and made it two for about the same price. I slayed it, okay? I undercut all the chicken. I mean, not even KFC could keep up with me, okay? I was slinging chicken left and right. You don't even freaking know. It was insane. You couldn't see me, okay? Outside of that, there's going to be a lot of other things that you can appease people with. Especially if you're good at making stews. Okay, so let's go ahead, head on down to the stalls. We'll check that out and kind of see just what's for sale in this server. And get a, an idea. I'm in the... If you don't already know, I play on PC VR and on the round table server and I haven't been on in a little while so be interesting to see what they have down there let's go check it out it always surprises me quite a bit when I learn that people don't know that these are actually stalls it happens a lot I mean I've met people month two months in the game who don't even realize that, that these are the same things that are right down the hill so right outside of town hall here are the first stalls that you can sell at of course if your server is full of people selling stuff and they're going to get antsy about the slots, uh, especially if the economy is starting to boom, people are going to be like, oh, stop buying up all the spots. So just keep that in mind. But right now, for instance, there's nothing being sold. So I could easily put something for sale out here. But let's go check if that's just because all the other items are being sold down there. It's a pretty sad day when the stalls look like this. You know what? I don't appreciate your attitude, but I think I'm going to let you live. Hey, nope, never mind. Never mind. You're not living. Okay. Whatever, dude. And look, we could we could sell that chicken, but you know what? He's not worth it. But if it ever looks like this on the server, that's some sad news. That means the economy has failed. And it is up to you, and only you, to get it up and running. Really solid things that people like to buy are things like food, of course, which I already mentioned wood types so they can go ahead and craft things basic tools will appeal to like median players and stuff like that like especially red iron tools although depending on whether your economy is a little bit more advanced you might have to go for something like silver silver is always a solid because it has to be mixed up to make better alloys so it's always a good go-to of course you can do mithril whether that's ore or ingot and anything below that 
which is going to provide a steady flow of metal of metallic alloys throughout your local economy base but on top of that as far as food goes you can make some serious bank by selling potions you can charge five to six bucks per potion on top of that you're going to charge another few coins just for the vial or the gourd so it's kind of a win-win situation in that another really hot item and or service that you can provide is helping people with bags you can either go ahead and build pre-build big backpacks and sell them or help people for a fee a lot of people have trouble with bags i personally don't even like building them so I'm always willing to pay, pay a few extra coin for one or get a hand in doing so. And one more really good source that I can just think of right off the top of the head are crystals. Because everybody needs crystals to go down into the mines. So what better way than to provide crystals for them? So as soon as the mines are reset, head on down there, yoink a bunch of crystals, and try to leave a little bit for some people at least, and sell them. I mean, they don't respond till the next, till the next cycle, so... Get your share and be this be the crystal merchant maybe now let's talk a little bit about the housing situation because i swear this is like the number one comment on earth okay as far as this channel goes so yeah by far one of the number one things i'm asked is how do i have a house or when are we all getting houses or you know something along those lines so to start off i'll go ahead and just show you the inside of my house of course i am on pc vr and i'll explain more in just a second hold on because I'll show you the inside it's nothing complicated but i do enjoy it and then i'll explain how it all works and what your limitations are on the quest if that's what you're using so for starters i do have a mailbox that is tied to my account so when i do get mail it will pop up here that's pretty self-explanatory going on in we just have the open floor design no just for real uh, it is pretty open not a whole lot to it just got my two chests over here with my weapons rack the weapon and tool racks that I use to, you know, of course, hang my axes, weapons, bows, all that good stuff. Over here on the wall, I opted for my wall racks to hang all my different backpacks. Of course, I got lucky and got this thing installed too. I think the server, I think they just charge you more for little things. I can't remember. It, I set this up a long time ago, or I, I had this set up a long time ago. I have a little I have a little crafting deck that I can't really use often uh, because I don't have a book that goes with it and there used to be a table behind me that but they just break all the time so it's not even worth trying to keep around going upstairs though if we can even make it there going upstairs though we have just a few rooms this room right here is kind of junk like I don't really do a whole lot with it it's just kind of like the overflow a little bit of food in one shelf we have a little hallway right here and we go into the archery room this is where i keep like all my arrows feathers all that good kind of stuff if we turn around here we have the metal and crafting room this is where i keep all leathers metals wood handles things for wood that i'm going to use to craft stuff if i'm not mistaken this costs about like a thousand coin a month to have now to how we do this on pc we actually use something called a prefabulator that allows us to spawn any asset that we're near in a game we can basically copy say any building or the smithy or the one of the dummies or anything like that and we can just paste that anywhere we want we can also look up items based on their labeling or other things of that nature but leading up to whether that's on the quest no it is not at this time however there is a light to be had you can spawn things on the quest uh, and i highly recommend joining the township tell discord to get a little bit more familiar with that however the rule of thumb from what i got told by somebody in the discord was if for now at least if you can grab it and put it in your backpack you can spawn it on the quest not only do we spawn the items we align them to where you want them to be and then you can save that set pair of items as one whole prefab so when you spawn a house for instance you have that pre-built house that has shelves and so on and so forth and you can build different versions of that different tiers if you will which is like what we do here in the round table on pc vr and each tier of houses you know bigger costs more money of course township tale is developing their own hands-on building that is coming i'm not sure when but 
again, I get asked that so much. I don't know when the tower's coming to quest. I don't know when the forest is coming to quest. And I definitely don't know when house building is coming at all, but I do hope it's soon. And it'd be awesome to maybe get with the dev sometime and speak a little bit about the history and maybe the future of the game. But whether that'll happen is yet to be seen. So if you want to see that and more, make sure you drop it down in the comments. And to address something here, I know I haven't been around a bunch, but I've been working my butt off on a lot of other really neat content we have coming up and stuff that I've already launched that I'm sad to say a lot of you haven't even watched. So I really hope that you check it out. And it's really stuff I've enjoyed creating up to this point. So make sure you check out those videos, go back and watch them, and then look forward to the stuff we have coming up. I appreciate the heck out of all of you. We will see you on the next one. Hey, hang, hang on to this for just a second. I don't have any. Hang on to that. Just in your hand for a second while I rearrange this. It won't go in there. I think it's glitched. I think it's glitched. <laughs> Do you know which is the correct hand?